I don't know if you remember last week I had a bit of a problem with a solar panel and it appears that the regulators failed. Well it turns out that uh, Sergeant have watched my uh, video and they've sent me a replacement regulator. I uh, saw the video and said the re regulator shouldn't really fail. I don't really know why so they've sent me a replacement regulator and asked me to send the old one back so they can have a look at see why it's failed. So I thought it'd be a bit uh, wrong of me not to have a go at trying to change this regulator. Now I, I can't remember where I left the video but I couldn't get the old regulator out of the cupboard in the kitchen and I'll show you in a minute where it is. It uh, just appeared to be just a little bit too difficult to reach the connectors. Uh, so you can see there's only two connectors uh, that uh, connected up to the system. I could get one of them if I push the lead through but I couldn't get hold of the other. And they're hidden behind the microwave. So let me show you. So here's the microwave, here's our kitchen cupboard and in there is the regulator. And you can see it goes through a hole and the hole's not big enough for me to get my hand in uh, to get to the things. So short of cutting a big hole there to get at it, I think the only thing I'm left with is getting the microwave out. Now I did ask on the Swift owners um, Facebook group and I'll put a link, I can't remember the exact title of it, um, but uh, I'll put a link to that Facebook group if anyone had actually removed a microwave and a couple of people said that there is a way to get it out. Let me just go through some of the, the stages that I already know. So here just above there there's two covers, if I can get one of them off, two covers that conceal two screws, the little sticky cover things they come off. So two screws there that hold that side of the panel on and on this side it's held in with a magnetic uh, catch. So let's see if I can film that. So obviously I've got to take the screws out first. Handy if I was left handed. These screws only go into it, there's a bit of wood behind it, they only go in a slight way so you don't have to take them all the way out. And this panel then pull off. Oh, I broke the screw. Damn it. Take those out. Yeah, you see that's that's screwed into there, or meant to be screwed into there. Might have to fix that with a bit of Gorilla Glue. So that's so obviously I pulled this off before and it's just weakened the screw. Not a brilliant idea. Maybe I'll put another another screw in there as well. So that gives me access to the back of the mi microwave. Yeah. So there's like a let me see that like a plywood panel that goes across. And there's a baton behind it. Just pe pressing down on this metal top on the microwave. Now someone said if you get two hands on it you can pull this plywood thing out but I can't for the life of me see how it comes out or even what it's holding it down but let's give it a go. lever it down with. Oh, I've got a trowel thing. See if I can get that to come down a bit. So it's bent up like that. I 
have some more screws on this panel here. Let's just see if that comes off. That panel comes off. Feels like it should lift up there, but. Right, I can't get that panel past this bit of wood here. So I'm wondering if I can take that bit of wood out, but I'll need an offset screwdriver. I think I've got one somewhere. Well, I, I couldn't fit my offset screwdriver to get those screws out, but I have just managed to lever it past the, uh, the lip there. So hopefully I can pull that out now. that is wow so that just that just sort of wedges the microwave in place I guess so there we go that becomes the microwave well careful not to drop it oh that's a relief so that's the microwave out amazing Pain in the what's it? Oh, I'll have to clear this cupboard out. All sorts of stuff in there. But those are the connectors for the solar panel. I couldn't, that one, the reason I couldn't move it, obviously there's no slack on it. So I couldn't pull it through to there. Oh, look at my fingers. Oh. Yeah, there's just four screws holding that in there. Unscrew the regulator and unclip these. These things are very simple to unclip. Just a couple of little tabs. So those are the leads going to the solar panel and that's the lead going to the battery and the power supply unit. And out comes the old regulator. So we'll send that off to Sergeant and uh, see what they say. Well, at least I now know how to get the microwave out if I need to change it for any reason. Oh, a lot of rubbish in the back there. I'll go and get the little hoover. These connectors only go in one way. So they've got like a square bit at the bottom of them. So find the the male and the female versions of them and turn the right way up so you've got the square bit at the bottom the square bit at the bottom there and that's it same with these can only go in one way that's it Probably ought to have a little p-clip holding them in place there put a little bit a little bit a bit too much there a little bit of gorilla glue on this just screw it back on temporarily I'll screw that back up one of the things you can do with the swift command is that you if your vehicle is having a service you can use the service mode to turn off the alarm and battery disconnect monitoring so you don't get a call from the the tracking people so let's do that and till the end of Wednesday that'll do okay right so that tells it's having a service that's good so now I've disconnected the tracking mode I can disconnect the battery it's really difficult to do this one-handed, but there we go. Undid it. Right, let's go and reconnect the solar connectors.
connection, which is good. Let's see what voltage we've got. Right, so I've got my multimeter. Positive, positive, negative to negative on the 20 volt scale. Uh, getting 13.57 volts. solar panel says it's charging red means it's charging and if we look at the panel I'm getting 1.9 amps through the solar it's not the brightest of days but, but that's good and you can see that it's charging the leisure battery the vehicle battery is good at 12.7 in fact it just finished charging so it's green now so it means that the battery is charged and it's stable at 13.4 at the moment right so the panel's back in place one of those sticky things has come off but I can get a replacement for those get the cupboard cleaned up and get the microwave back in there yeah. A little P clip in there to stop it rattling against the microwave. I'm just going to get the microwave back now. if I showed you but the that tray what you see in that goes in there it is goes in on those sliders there so you slide that in over there and that's the thing that was the real struggle to get out so if it's a struggle to get back in It's got to go back in that way. That's like the padding bit. Hopefully my wood, my glue has dried, which it looks like it has. This side has got a magnetic catch on it, and there's a magnetic thing there. I think I probably need to push that panel back a little bit more. Back over there. Back. 
Plastic cover things back. That's it, I managed to get my microwave out, got it back and changed the solar power, solar panel regulator which I'll send back to Sergeant and I can have a look at that, see if they know what's gone wrong. Uh, so I hope you found this interesting um, and I hope I managed to film how to get the microwave out. It is a bit of an awkward thing. Um, but at least I know it comes out now. So if I do change the sergeant uh, panel for something um, more complex or connected to Bluetooth or something like that, or perhaps upgrade my solar, I'll know how to get the microwave out at least now. I hope this has been useful for anyone else who might be taking their microwave out, perhaps to put it, just get rid of it, make another cupboard, or perhaps the microwave's packed up. Who knows? Anyway, so give us a thumbs up, remember to subscribe, hit the notifications icon, and you'll get an update when I release another video. So, we'll see you soon. Bye then.